Hello everybody, so it's been about a million years since I've made a video, I'm not really sure why I'm making one right now, because I don't really have anything interesting to say. I guess just because I haven't done it in a while, and I've been watching tons of, like, uh, the React channel, and, you know, apparently vlogs are a big fad thing or popular thing now. Anyway, it's not like I'm trying to get in on a fad, I've been here since 2006. I mean, I was here before. YouTube was popular. I don't give a shit about that. It just reminded me that, like, I actually have a vlog and maybe I should... <laughs> maybe I should say something on it once in a while. <sighs> Apparently it's foggy outside. It's foggy in my window. There's, uh... Let me see if I can show you this. Is it showing? Well, not really, but okay. In the window there... The window you can actually see. Um, <laughs> anyway. It's all fogged up. Because there is a vine growing inside of my window. There must be some kind of hole in it. Um, I mean, don't get me wrong, I like the hanging vine plant, but I'd really rather it not be inside my window and have it all misted up so I can't really see anything in my yard. Um, but anyway, that's not very interesting, I guess. Um, new glasses. I, uh... I liked the little bit of silver on these. See, I'm the kind of person who, when I get new glasses, I really, really hate changing the frames. And they never have the frames that I used to have anymore. And so, this time... Sorry, there's something distracting on my computer screen. This time, they didn't have... They didn't have blue, they didn't have gray, so I had to get black. I didn't want black because, like, I'm so fair and I, I feel like it's just... It stands out too much. And they're slightly taller than what I would normally get, but they're still not too big. Um, I have a horror of big glasses ever since I got made fun of as a kid for having them, because back then that was like a sign that you were nerdy or geeky. Like, And then this whole hipster thing came in, and they got popular, and I just, I can't even go near them. To this day, all I hear in my head when I think about it is nerd and four eyes and just no. Nope, it's never gonna happen. I'm I'm always gonna have small glasses, but apparently small glasses aren't in style now, so I had so much trouble getting small glasses that fit my face that weren't in a color like red, because ew, red, I just... Blue is my favorite color, and I do not do red. Red would clash with most of the things I wear, so... <laughs> no. Although I'm, I'm wearing red right now, but actually that's a nightshirt. I could wear it as a t-shirt if I wanted, but it would be awfully, uh, awfully loose. Anyway, I probably don't really seem like it right now, but I've just not been very happy lately. Actually, I spent most of yesterday in, like, a blank sort of fog. Um, I suppose you could pretty much say I'm, I'm depressed. It is pretty circumstantial, but it's, like, it's stuff that... I am not really facing right now that has been going on for months. And I faced it for a good while, and... Well, the thing about it is I have a new therapist now. And so all of this is related to the fact that my old therapist left, and the grief process is, like, not even close to over. Um, I got through the acute part of it. But, see, then I started switching my benzo over so that I could taper, and apparently diazepam is a hell of a drug, and it's a lot stronger in me than clonazepam was. So, I've just, in the last few weeks, maybe, gotten emotions back. And I'm really, really not enjoying having them back. I'm really not enjoying grief. I'm, you know, and whatever other negative emotions are happening. Um, do forgive the camera motion, I'm holding my phone in my hands. My webcam doesn't work anymore, can't make it, it doesn't work with anything. And this is more, much more clear anyway, and you can hear my voice properly. Um, so yeah, cause it's like, I would feel better if I could talk to my old therapist. Guess who's not here anymore, and guess what the reason for the whole problem is, you know. So it's like, God, the only thing that could fix it is the reason I have, is the whole reason for the problem. And it's just like, I have, like, I have a new psychiatrist slash therapist, you know, the, the whole two in one, but I don't know. There's just, I, I had so much, you know, hope that I would trust her and, and grow to, grow to trust her because the first time we met, we 
well, I really did not get a good impression. She laughed at something that I thought was really serious, and I was just like, nope, and I never went back. Um, but my old psychiatrist slash therapist couldn't think of anybody else that she felt was better suited, and I do, I trust her judgment quite a lot. So she said, you know, I said, you know what? <laughs> I might as well give it a try. I'll give her one more chance, you know, and she is a lot better than I thought. She's an excellent psychiatrist. I can't fault her psychiatrically like she's she's great but like therapeutically I just I just don't know I, I don't there's always like for me I can kind of feel intuitively when something is right something can work or you know whether a therapeutic relationship is just going to be really really bad or if there's potential or if some things are good and some things you don't think are ever really going to be good. Um, it's very rare for me to find any kind of significant, like, I know this is going to work sort of match. So this new doctor falls under, you know, she's mostly good, but there are some things that really give me serious pause, serious reservation in what I want to tell her. Um the 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 deepest or secret things i've no desire to tell her at all because i don't trust her not to have the wrong reaction to it because she's had the wrong a aka something very painful to me kind of reaction to many things that i've said before that i did not mean in any sort of you know like way that was supposed to be laughed at or or whatever so i'm just like okay what happens if I tell her, like, this whole, whole big, massive thing, and she, I'm not saying she's gonna laugh, but she has some kind of reaction that I'm, I'm not expecting, or that just isn't the right reaction. There are a lot of reactions that could be the wrong reactions, so God knows now what kind of a reaction I would get. And if it is the wrong reaction, say goodbye to any mental health that I could have had. So it's like, okay... Am I going to deteriorate at all from not telling her? I don't know. We can talk about the grief without her having to know my deepest, darkest secrets, I think. I think. I'd like to believe that. Um, at the same time, like, there's, there's this whole... I probably should talk about shit that's bothering me, even if it's, like, deepest, darkest secrets level. But on the other hand, number one, you've got to have trust. But number two, I feel like I don't have any privacy... It's like, I've got to talk about everything in my life, and, and that was needed when I was going through the really more cute recovery process, but at this point, it's it's more about tapering down off the drug and, and coming back to functionality and trying to go to school and all sorts of other things like that, and I'm not convinced I need to talk about the deep, dark stuff to get on with my life. Like, and I have ways of dealing with my feelings, and I find that when I don't talk about things, that's when I actually want to write. And, excuse me, sorry. Um, like, I haven't written at all. I had writer's block for the longest time. The, the actual block about writing in its totality ha has gone, but... It's like I don't have any inspiration anymore, and at this point, I don't really have much will to write, or to really do anything for that matter. I don't find much very interesting right now. Reading, slightly more so than anything else, but... Um... So it's like, number one, like, I have to believe that what I'm writing actually matters to somebody, and I find that really difficult. But number two, I have to actually have something to write about, and, like, my life is totally fucking boring. I sit at home all day, and do nothing. I hardly ever go outside. I go out once a week to do therapy. Big fucking deal, right? And I think, oh, I mean, I haven't been reading enough. I haven't been, you know, having much of a life. I haven't been doing much that would give me any ideas in the first place, you know? So it's like, I want to write, but I have no material. I have no creativity. So what do you do? I have been teaching myself how to sing again a little bit, a little bit. Not in, you know, my, my old classical way, but at least I can, like, I can actually project my voice and I can, 
I figured out how to make my voice not raspy on the high notes. I have to open my mouth and, like, sing it loud, forte, you know? If I don't, then I get the raspy tone in my voice, which is not not supposed to be there at all. I do not have a raspy voice. Um, anyway, so I guess, yeah, it's ten minutes, this video, and I think I've babbled long enough about practically nothing. Um, and again, I know... Like, I mean, at the moment, I don't feel completely 100% depressed, I suppose, but it'll come back once I stop this video, probably. I just won't be interested in anything again. So, anyway, I hope you guys are well, or as well as you can be, and perhaps I shall post another video in about another thousand years. <laughs> Bye!